Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. How's it going, guys? I haven't played from the original on 360, so this is this is pretty cool. Uh I'm not gonna go crazy with the name. Let me just quickly do something here. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Please log in to act profile reconstruction complete. Please log in to access your profile. Custom mail. Please log in to access your profile. I remember how cool this beginning was in the, when the first Warning. time you turned the game Data on. Corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification. Confirm facial identification. Confirm military specialization. Confirm psychological. Confirm pre. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to profile reconstruction complete. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service hit. Confirm, confirm pre Confirm psychological. Confirm military special. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. 
held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrive. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always oh. expect the worst. Now, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Ooh, this looks good. I told you I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. We're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're get I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? Yeah, I'm interested this looks in this a lot better. Tube, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. 
Yeah, the graphics are a lot better. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans. Than Welcome they. to the channel, guys. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here. Just start playing Mass Effect. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Reapers. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. 
Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? Man, this is giving me some serious feels. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. All right, let's see what the gameplay is going to be like. Oh man, this is a huge difference. Yeah, the textures are a lot better. Alright. Do some exploration as well to make sure we get all the items here. I don't know how I remember this, but... Ah, uh, see that? See that? Mm, it's not good. Because that's going to be fixed up. Oh yeah, I remember this. You gotta pick weapons. Yeah, the textures are really nice. Do this. This guy got killed in action automatically. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Let's see how good the gameplay is going to be. It feels a little bit awkward for now because you know, obviously it's a little bit archaic, but.
check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Ashley. How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Geth. Hey there, how's it going to welcome to the channel man? About to rip through some geth real quick. If you like the original, uh, I'm sure you're gonna love this. It does feel quite archaic at this point in terms of you know how it feels Gunnery in comparison to newer games. But it's been cleaned up really nice. You, Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Yep. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Oh, you never played the other ones. Holy they crap. They for the beacon. The dig site is close. I, I Just would say that rise. arguably be the there. best science fiction action RPG ever made. You just have to go in with the kind of mindset that the gameplay mechanics are going to be a little bit more archaic, but in the story and the decisions and the overall lore is absolutely amazing. And in my opinion, Andromeda is better in terms of gameplay and controls, but action, like story wise, we no can way. Use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Let's go, let's Move do out. this. I'm actually trying to get used to the controls myself because it's been quite a while since I played the original. I've only played the uh, original when it came out. I beat it a couple times. See, like, I even forgot how to do the... Uh, see, I can position my people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that out, guys. Thank you. Got a melee tower. Man, I forgot everything. Jesus. Feels like a feels like I'm playing a fresh game. <laughs> Make sure we explore here. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. 
Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Yeah, I gotta remember how to do the sending the my teammates again. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And then I regroup and got it. Let's do this. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Hey, welcome to the channel. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. Hey there, what welcome to the channel. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Alrighty. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Good, we'll help these guys out. And now we're out of here. How's it going there? Welcome to the channel. I'm just outfitting my characters here. Yeah, I forgot the beginning has a lot of story set up. I mean, it's in general story heavy game, but. Saren! Oh man, you can see all the details. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. 
I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Yep. Boom. What is that? Off in the distance. Yeah, it's a little bit cumbersome to use the... Okay, before we do that, gotta make sure we unlock the door here. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. I remember playing this game the first time. I was a total <laughs> dick. <laughs> I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. Renegade all the way. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. It's very noticeable for sure, but the gameplay obviously archaic. So um, the you have to kind of get used to the fact anybody. that you know you're playing the game for the, the story the and uh, the lore, the world. But the use. shooting feels the better. But you know, of course, not up to par. If those things came back. You'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Good luck. Good. Get an omni gel and let's keep going. It's actually quite awkward to get used to the controls again. Uh, because, you know, of course we've gotten used to all the third person shooters, and even Andromeda. And here it's um, a little bit more stiff. Turian, you know him? He's a specter. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. 
I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Yeah, everyone for sure, I agree with you. Behind the crates, I'd be dead too. I went with hard, but not insanity. Just because I want to kind of enjoy the story. I know I'm not going to be playing it for gameplay. We need to find that beacon. So I, I'm, I'm putting it on hard, so I have a challenge. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Of course, it would have been nice if they did a full-on remake of this game, where the controls are completely modernized. But you know, you can't you can't expect that kind of treatment from every game. What well, I do remember- oh crap. Got him. Yeah, and I'm, I can see the frame rate kind of dips on quality mode. It's definitely not perfect. Oh, behind us, man. Should we get behind cover here? Oh crap. Now from that distance we're not gonna do anything, we gotta get up close. So activate adrenaline. Get them to use their abilities. That's one thing I forgot, you have to keep kind of pausing. Which I don't mind, I just have to... Get it up close. I'm one above normal right now, and in terms of difficulty. Oh crap, gotta be careful. Yeah, I never liked Mass Effect 1's combat, even for its time. I always had issues with it. It definitely feels better here. But, you know, it's just not something I want to engage with. I would always enjoy the story and kind of all the choices you can make. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. No, the controls are definitely better. A hundred times better. And what I noticed right away is the amount of detail in terms of textures and the characters, how much have been improved. <laughs> yes, for sure the art style aged really well. And I think the story is going to age even better. Because there's still not many games with this level of story. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Let's go. That one's upstairs, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I would say it's arguably probably the best science fiction action RPG, period. Alright, 
we got I never understood people saying who oh, that Halo is a great story. Yeah, it's a good story for a first person shooter. But that's where it stops. See, so, yeah, because I want to be a Vanguard, so let's switch to my shotgun. their chest okay behind us yeah the controls are very stiff Should we get the items in the area? Okay, that's the beacon, so we gotta make sure we explore before we go there, otherwise we're not gonna be able to come back. Oh wait, I missed the charge. Dumb. Gotta do it before it explodes. Good, we got that. Yeah, I don't know if a, a newcomer to the series would, unless they're open-minded to more retro games and kind of, you know, understand what this game come from, what era. I don't know how involved a newcomer would be to this game with the tanky controls of the first one. Because part two and three obviously significantly better in terms of shooting. Normandy. And even this one's a lot better than the original, but... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. You know I saved Ashley in the first time around. <laughs> no, don't touch it. Too the Reapers. The Reaper threat in the Mass Effect trilogy basically became the Night King of Game of Thrones. You don't really get to see them much. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. You have a good one, Star Wars Timeline. I think he's waking up.
You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. <laughs> How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Yeah. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. That's how Commander Shepard flirts. <laughs> system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. We got That's demolished. why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? God, his eyes are still I creepy. <laughs> things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. Look and at those reflections in the eyes. Now that's improvements in graphics. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Sorry about that, yeah, guys. You guys been having too much fun with the motorcycles outside my house. Them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever. I'm a serious now. Look at those textures. Sarah that's that's me. serious. That's a serious but improvement. I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Lighting is better. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. I also love the actor who plays the com uh, Captain Anderson. We should be getting close. Absolutely love that Head actor. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. How are you guys? Welcome to the channel who's coming just in for the stream. We just got past the intro here. If you guys have any questions, please feel free. I love interacting with people on this channel. Let's see what we got here. Let me save right away.
okay, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. It's also like Jenkins the depth of alive, field effect here. I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. There's nothing special about me, Williams. Anyone would have <laughs> His eyes still creep me out. Oh my god. The entire enemy platoon <laughs> alone? Uh, with all due respect. Hey there, Commander, welcome to the channel. I think you've got somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I think they still separate them uh, in the beginning when you pick the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm on PS5. I'm playing on PS5 currently. I need to go speak with you. Um, Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You were able to load your file in, and I thought at first they were gonna connect all the things together from one game to another, but. It feels like they did separate the three games because this one got the most treatment in terms of what they fixed up. The one thing that only bothers me on quality mode, even on PS5, because there's no PS5 version of this game, there's still some frame rate stutters. Like even here, you can see some. It's not super smooth. You would have to go to frame rate mode for it to be really smooth. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Seth Green. But I was just talking to somebody before this that this game is definitely going to age well in terms of story, lore, and the overall mythos of this game, but combat. I know it's going to upset some people, but I wasn't really a fan of the combat in the first game when it came out. Here it's a little better and it's a little bit more tolerable because the story is so good. The size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, you probably did the right thing going with the PC version. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Yeah, on PS5, it's a 100 gig download. You're right there, Pony. They did the same thing. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. God, I hate him. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. 
The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better... You know, Pony, in many ways this game is feeling very fresh for me because I haven't played it since the 360 era. Otherwise the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I remember I beat Mass Effect 1 one time That's completely. I did like 100%. But Mass Effect 2 and 3, oh man, I replayed that back to back many times. Oh, put the gun away. Yeah, I don't read all the notes, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't remember all the places you can get all the useful items. Oh yeah, this girl's gonna direct me. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Yeah, no thanks. I don't need a guide. <laughs> Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. <laughs> Are you real? I'll pass. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist Ed Let's see what the loading is like. About 10 seconds. That's not bad. Let me quickly stop my recording here and begin a new one. Because I'm also recording it for later. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Oh, Garrus. Stall, Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Probably one of my favorite characters, if not him and um Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer. Oh my God, of the Krogan. Investigation into Sarah. Rex, him and Rex. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Dude, the intro to Mass Effect Two Maybe is amazing. You. I know we all agree on that one, it was just phenomenal. I remember just like the whole thing in the ship and everything exploding. Oh, it's a transit, I forgot about that. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. Mm -hmm. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. Yeah, Saren was an awesome this villain. Must be your protege, Commander Shepard, the one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. 
You're not even ready to join the Spectres. <laughs> he has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. The music sounds like it's been reworked. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hell yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. Find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay, let's see. I haven't looked into my... Journal yet. Here we go. Citadel, Citadel, Citadel. Okay. Yeah, old school when you actually have to go and find your own location, not everything is given to you. I'm trying to write map. Here we go. That guy's up to something. Oh yeah, he's fixing the robots. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. 
I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically... It's really nice. You can see the difference in material with the lighting and your when there's leather and scan. material. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. How's it going there? Welcome to the channel. It's been a long time coming back to this game. See how fast the elevators are. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, you can skip. Awesome. Look at that bug thing. Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay, let's see. CSAC, Embassy Lounge. So on the same side. Let's first go to the to the bank. Wait, there's now a point to where to go? Ah, it just lets me know where to go. I was gonna say waypoints, that that'd be a little too modern for this game. You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Rex. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. 
Yeah, you know, I gotta say, this game did age pretty well. In terms of, again, like, the lore, the look. They've updated it pretty nicely. Look at that, look at the lighting. Garrus? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. Oh, that's not Garrus, what am I saying? Free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Alright, where's the... T-Sec Academy? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do the side quest a little bit later. I want to do more of the main story. Some action. Uh huh, and then around the corner. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. Why is his head cut off again? an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Was there anything else? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Let's see the journal. So let's start with Rex since he's already in the area. Where's the Seasack Academy? some extra experience here. Let's keep going. That's the one thing, yeah, you have to keep going back and forth so I can
Okay. I think the club was... I don't remember where the club was, to be honest. Man, it's kind of annoying how short the sprint is. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. <laughs> this one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. <laughs> I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Okay, I'll what pay if for I it. purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. See where is it on the map? Oh, I remember that. There's gonna be some action in here. Am I going the right way? No. Get my shoddy. Get 
demolished. Rex. I got business here, but not with you. Where's Rex? Oh, Rex, right here, the informant. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, <laughs> you might as well spread them around. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. So, Well guys, actually I do have to stop here, unfortunately. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream for just looking at how Mass Effect Legendary Edition looks right before it comes out this Friday. Uh, you can let me know down below in the comments if you're going to be getting it yourself, but for today we got to end it right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. You guys have a good one.